Hello, hey guys, uh, welcome to my second review for the DVD fiends. Uh, basically, uh, on my channel, I'm gonna start talking about, uh, public domain horror flicks and stuff like that, so, I figured I'd do a review of one over here on the DVD fiends, or, yeah. I think I'm gonna review Dementia 13. This movie commonly comes for like a buck, so if you see it, it's definitely worth picking up. Even if you hate stuff like this, uh, you know, how can you go wrong for a dollar? It's basically one of the first movies that Francis Ford Coppola, I believe I pronounced that right, he directed that movie, and I believe this was one, one of, if not his very first movie. If you don't know who he is, he would go on to direct The Godfather, so... It is kind of interesting just to see where this guy started out, so, you know. Anyway, really, the movie, in terms of storyline, it's either extremely simple or extremely, I guess we could say, difficult to follow. I couldn't really follow it, but I could basically see what it was about. It's been a really long time since I've seen it, and the plot line's so thin, it's really hard to comprehend, so I'm not really going to get into it, but it's basically one of the first slasher movies to come after Psycho. This was made in 1963, so that should give you some ideas of what it is. Anyway, uh, in terms of what the positives are in it, well, for the time, it this movie has some really good acting, but compared to Psycho, which came out three years beforehand, this movie's really nothing, because, you know, like, the acting, while it is somewhat decent, it's not amazing. Uh, also, what else is good about it? Well, I actually thought the atmosphere was actually pretty outstanding. The atmosphere of it's really dark, and so dark, it's really almost depressing, but... The black and white adds a great tint of dark atmosphere to it. And since this is a public domain movie, a lot of the print and you know DVDs you'll find it on, it's usually really scratched, so that just adds even more to the whole dark, grainy, and disturbing atmosphere. However, when it comes to truly being disturbing, this movie's not really disturbing at all. It had some good suspense scenes, but other than that, the kill scenes are actually pretty bad. And, uh, you know, it does have several pretty inventive kills. It does have a highly impressive axe scene for the time. And it actually has a very funny, cheesy decapitation. Overall, if you really, really like old horror movies, or you like a good horror movie with some really, really dark atmosphere, check out Dementia 13, but, you know... Again, it's a public domain movie. You can find it for like a buck, so you can't really go wrong. Thanks for watching this review, and please check out my channel if you have not done so already.